here's my front fender for my Harley here and I taped where the rivets are taped over the rivets so now there's no hard spots uh, popping up out of the metal I'm gonna clean it better any um, material black oil grease hit it with a glass cleaner I'm gonna get it the best that I can clean my grease and wax remover at the very end um, and then I'll sand it with 600 after I sand it with 600 I'm just gonna do a light sanding I'm gonna hit it with my pad on all the hard spots my gray pad or a red pad and then I'm gonna start getting ready to airbrush it I'm gonna lay my tape out and some ghost gold flames on here and I'm gonna tape all that out so get ready see the little black dot right there there's a little um, spray on here like spray paint or some shit um, any little imperfections there's quite a bit of imperfections on here there's little dots and little splatches um, I got all the the dirt and stuff off of here so now I'm gonna hit it with the 800 So I don't do this painting a lot. Um, my sand, my hand palm, my palm sander is a little too much. Um, I'm gonna do the rest of it by hand. Make sure I didn't mess anything up. I just barely touched it, but um, like right here, it might have went almost too deep right there. So I'm gonna do the rest by hand. So we have it all done, took like five, less than 10 minutes with by hand. This piece right here goes in the back of the wheel so you can't see it very much. But instead of taping the corners off like I said I was going to, I didn't. And there you go, I went down to metal there. So up front, I just stayed away from those edges for the most part and just took it down by hand. We got the little chip right here but I just took it down by hand. So right now I'm gonna take my uh, gray piece of Scotch-Brite. So I just took that gray pad and um, just hit the whole thing. So it's ready to clean up right now and I'm gonna start laying down some tape for the airbrush for the ghost flames so I put the tape down I'm gonna tape it all up okay I taped it up um, cleaned it with glass cleaner I taped it made sure my hands were clean uh, I cut it took out the stencil part of it uh, I laid this down freestyle this is my first time ever so we'll see how it comes out I laid it down I laid one down you can see the line and I didn't like it because it wasn't straight so I laid another one down with the gap in the front and um, I lined it with tape. So you have the blue tape on the bottom, the purple tape, I cut it out. Then I lined it with this tape right here just to close the edges. And um, I'm ready to pull my airbrush out and start airbrushing. Like I said, I've never done it before. This is my first time doing it. 
and um, <clears throat> I got 2K, 2K Clear Glamour Spray Max. You take the top off, you put it on the bottom, and you smash it up, and then you shake it for 10 minutes or some shit, and um, get the 2K epoxy that's in there, 2K, two parts, so it's <clears throat> one part catalyst, and the other part's fucking the clear color, so... <clears throat> we'll hit it with clear after I'm done And now I'm ready for gloss I don't know if I really want to run flames, but I Want to see how it looks with gloss, so I think I'm gonna hit it with gloss And go from there pretty cool design. I thought for my first ever These are my first painted flames ever so little tip action anyways that's what it looks like right now um, it's gonna be a process to do the rest of my bike and I'm looking at it I'm like it looks so nice just one color cherry but I think this is gonna look bitching when the whole bike's like this anyways tell me what you guys think comment down below let me know what's going on um, give me any um, let me know what you guys are using as far as airbrushes. I see some lines where I cut and stuff. I'm hoping from the razor blade. See the little line right there from the razor blade. Hoping the clear will just cover all that shit up, but it's really hard to say with clear. Anyways, that's what I got going on right now looking like there's something right here on the rivet I don't know if there if it was dirty or what but anyways that's what I got going on right now I'm gonna hit it with clear I hope I don't waste the money on that so I just got done putting the 2k gloss on out of the can looks pretty good there's a few little spots right there but to tell you the truth I don't even care I'm just gonna ride it I'm not gonna sand it or polish it I'm just gonna put it on the bike and ride it the only orange pill is in this corner right here can't even really see it. It kind of laid down flat right now. It was orange pillish. First time ever. Flame job. You can do it. All you gotta do is put your back into it. So after I'm done with the whole bike, I'll probably have $120 into the paint job because the base coat was already on there like the little mess up right there I'm not really worried about it I might hit it later on but as of right now I'm not really worried about it it's still gonna look better than what I have on my bike well I don't know about that but for me, it's new and it looks cool, but nobody else has it, so that's what I like about it. Nobody else has it except for me. What do you guys think about it? Let me know down in this comment section. Um, the can's only good for 48 hours. I'm going to try to do the two side panels, but I have a chip right here, my side covers battery box and whatnot but I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe just cover it up this and try to bondo it sand it and maybe put my flame right there so you will never be able to tell
That's what I got going on, guys. Time to go party.